Okay, so next task. So what I want you to do is just quickly put yourself on pause, read through this, okay? And then once you've had a read through, click yourself back onto play again. Right, so you've had a read through. This is the question. So we're designing a document. So ultimately, we're trying to aim for something like this here, okay? Um, which is going to give us the basic information that we need. Now again, if we look back, we can see that we've been given the dates and times here. So let, let's see what we come up with. So firstly, bring a picture in. Picture, insert, pictures, a suitable picture. OK, here we go. Daffodil. It's a good one for this. And then we just wait a few moments for the computers to import the picture, like so. Uh, we need to edit the picture a bit. Right click with the mouse, go to crop coming like so and just bring it up we can do a quick bit of resizing like so but we want to put the picture some really in the center of the um, document so we will want to move the picture about best way of doing that is if we go to picture and we go to layout and if I click in line is a click square like so we can then move the box around the picture around like so. We can then just knock our text down like so. I could just put the summer opening hours like this in the middle. All right. Blow it up, we'll pump it up like so, make it bold, make it a bit uh, bigger, put a bit of underlining, just center that up. Okay. So let's just go back to the original sort of template I showed you. So what I've done here is a little bit of centering, a bit of bolding, make the text just a little bit bigger using that do something similar here what I can do is I can cheat actually um, I can just hover a bit of the text on a format painter and do that it's not just cheating it's just making use of our time okay table very quickly insert table and if we look here for a moment we want two columns and one two three four five six seven eight rows so we can actually do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, very nicely, two rows, like so. And then I can just quickly copy, put my information in. So opening time. Okay, and then we will just enter all the information in. So quickly, just for the moment, I'm going to do the copy and paste it all across. Okay. So center. Center. Let's make this just a little bit bigger so it looks similar to what I've got on the other side, like so. It doesn't have to be perfect, exactly the same, but just bring that down a little bit. Put it on to that. I can then just do that. Little lines in between, like so. So, as you've been on the Excel, we'll see this is a similar sort of process. And then, what I can do is, if I want to, I can just move them in a little bit, like so. But, post as test, that will do for you. Okay. Um, we've got everything in, we welcome you, looking forward to welcoming you. I mean, so what you're looking at is not making this really fancy, you just need to keep it plain, keep it simple, keep it to the point, okay? Um, this is the point of the test really, is to show that you can know the basics of how to do something, so that's what we've done there. I'm just going to put my footer onto it because we need to do that, insert, uh, just open that back up, we're going to go header footer, footer, uh, we just go for that one here and then again just type in the name that you're gonna You'll give a name for the day or you'll give a name. Okay, you might find you might have to put candidate numbers and center numbers in be given those on the time Come out of that Okay, and then all I have to do is just come up to here and do the save as and save it wherever I need to within the Actual computer. Okay, which I'm not going to go into now because obviously they bring up Confidential information on my own personal computer, which I can't do at the moment Okay, there we go. That's quickly how to design a document.